Hi everyone, Greg Wilkins here on Monday, August 31st, 2020 for today's edition of the Song of the Day. I can't exactly remember where I heard this, but I remember this story about a, a town that was going through a major drought. I mean, it's it's in the middle of summer. They have not had rain for months. The temperature has been averaging about 105 degrees every day. The crops are failing. The water supplies are dwindling. So all the churches in this town, didn't matter what denomination it was, all the churches in the town decided to get together for a prayer meeting. And they all met at the at a church at 7.30 p.m. Well, on this particular night, an old mother of this church comes walking into the church and she has on a bonnet. She has on another hat above that bonnet. She's got on a raincoat and a trench coat on for that, that raincoat. And she's got on rain boots and she's got two umbrellas in her hand. And one of the deacons of that church asked her, is that mother, why, why are you wearing all this stuff? Don't you know it's 105 degrees outside? We hadn't had rain in months. And she looked him straight, straight in his eyes and said, look, if we're going to pray for rain, I'm going to expect rain before I leave here. That's the kind of faith you got to have. Are we coming here to pray and believe or are we just coming here to to make noise? You know, sometimes we believe that God can do and God will do until somebody comes to us with issues of our past or with things they think are impossible that we can't do. I'll, I look at myself and when I started losing my vision in my early 20s, I had some people tell me, so, well, how are you going to play piano at your church now? I'm still playing because I believe that God can still do something through me. I have people believe, well, with little vision, how can you still be able to work with the Chapman High School marching band? How can you still write music for the, the band and for the orchestra and all the other places? How can you still write music for your church? You can't really see what you're doing. But I believed that what God put in me, it was purposed for it was purpose for that moment and I will still be able to do and find a way to get things done you got to believe beyond what you see or beyond what other people tell you Ephesians 3 and 20 reminds us now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us it's one thing to know that God is able to do it it's another thing to believe beyond any shadow of the doubt beyond any naysayer beyond any any other facts that might roll in any presentations you see on the news any presentations you might hear from your friends or your your spouses or your loved ones or your family or anybody else you got to believe beyond all of those facts that God is able to do not only all that we ask or think not only above all that we ask or think not only abundantly above all that we ask or think but exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us god gave us that power to believe and to have faith in him and to trust him even when you can't see him just believe he's got everything under control today's song of the day is i still believe by the sweet Holy Spirit combined choirs. And the hope the song encourages you that no matter what happens, no matter what's taken from you, no matter what hole the enemy is trying to make you believe that you're in or going into or may still be in, if you have Jesus Christ on your side, that's enough to start all over again. That's enough to believe that everything's gonna be all right and have the courage and the faith to step out on nothing and believe that something is there. I thank you all for supporting this little ministry. I thank you all for the well wishes of getting back together. My arm's still a little sore, but I'm going to press on and believe by faith that it's already healed and it's going to be better than ever. I thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a blessed day on today. I still believe by the sweet Holy Spirit combined choirs. Today's song of the day. God bless. Somebody put your hand up and say, I still believe. I didn't think that anybody could experience all of the stuff that Job experienced until stuff started happening in my own life. Job 
lost everything he had in the space of one day. Take your up, your cattle's gone, your livestock is gone, your children are gone, your wife is gone, she's saying, curse God and die. But when you keep on reading, Job pulls himself together says naked came I into this world and naked shall I return the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away blessed be the name of the Lord but I really like that part where he throws his hand up and he says I know my redeemer lives Jameson spoke to you about the processes well I think I failed messed up, stuff falling apart I feel all alone in this big house every now and then one of my children will come in and say something to me encouraging and I throw my hand up and I say God I still believe would you help me by telling somebody if I lost everything but still had Jesus I'd have enough to start over again. If I lose everything, but still have Jesus, I got enough to start all over again. Just touch three people and encourage them, tell them I still believe. I still believe. Cause I still believe Regardless of 